Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to do scales with blur mo curves. So, uh, last video I said uh, I hate bl blur mo, but now I've been experimenting with it and it's actually pretty nice. So, I got my two clips here, uh, like clips from my recent edit. So, we're gonna go down and find S. I'm just gonna blur mo curves. Where is it? Okay, right here. So, I made these presets right here just. Uh, I never knew you can turn off blur uh, by putting shutter duration to zero. So that's what I did. So uh, we're gonna learn how to do zoom in. So the last the last frame of the clip zooms in. So the first thing we have to do is keyframe Z this. We're gonna make the first one 0 0.2. We're gonna go three frames ahead. One, two, three. We're gonna make that 0 0.8. And then we're gonna go four frames ahead. And we're gonna make that 0 0.9. Next, we have to go to the last frame, make that 0.2. Go three frames back, so one, two, three, make that 0.9, and go back four and make that one. So, as you guys can see, once again, I added motion to like this transition. So, from here, it goes up 0.1 in distance. So, that's still that's still kind of a big motion change. And now we gotta add uh, our fade. So, the first frame is going to be fast fade, this one is going to be smooth, the next one is going to be fast, the fourth one is going to be slow, fifth one smooth, and the last one is going to be fast. So once we pre-render that, that's what it looks like. So it's kind of bouncier than pan and crop that's why i like uh blur mode because it kind of gives it a bouncy look so now we're gonna add a zoom in so um like a zoom in where it zooms in in the middle of the clip so first of all we're gonna drag on our no shutter shutter duration preset on we're gonna make z disk the one and keyframe that so now the first frame one we're gonna go three frames ahead one two three we're gonna make that 0 0.8 0 0.8 we're gonna go four frames once again one two three four we're gonna make that seven, 0 0.7 we're gonna last frame we make that one go three frames back one two three make that seven and go four frames back one two three four and make that 0 0.65 so same thing with the first uh, transition we learned here we're gonna do the same thing so first frame fast fade second frame smooth third frame fast fourth slow fifth smooth last fast and now we got this so yeah it's kind of bounce here I like that and obviously it looks way better when you got um, RSMB, so I'm gonna add that in. Just add, oh, add this one in right there. Pre render this, and obviously, it looks 10 times better with motion blur. Now, we're gonna add a uh, dissolve shake. I've been liking dissolve shake, so yeah, we're gonna add uh, this one. I don't know. So, what we do is we're gonna make our presets this, just copy these. So, the first thing we do is keyframe amplitude and frequency. And that's gonna be the first frame. We're gonna go like, I don't know, four frames ahead. One, two, three, four. We're gonna make that, I don't know, like 0 0.4 and make this like eight or nine. I'm gonna make a nine. And we're gonna go like seven frames ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna make this zero and this is gonna be, I don't know, like six. Yeah, six. And I don't think we need any like fast phase or anything. So we got this, this nice. A nice shake right here and this one well we learned this in the last pan and crop video that x shake keyframe uh dissolve amount go four frames ahead just make that zero just copy these and there we go so we got a nice thing here and that's basically it um like the last video i taught you guys how to uh like add like uh, warp fish eye and stuff to make it look better. This is just a simple video teaching guys how to do like, I don't know, thermal curve transitions. Uh, my next video is probably gonna be like a shake video teaching guys how to do shakes, like more in depth video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this short tutorial on how to do uh, thermal curve transitions. And I'll see you in the next video.